welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to take off your press on nails. And if you are not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button if you love press on nails because this is the channel for you. So um, I got a request on how to take off your press on nails if you attach them with Gorilla Glue and how like I get my press on nails off after I attach them with Gorilla Glue. So I will show you that. I'm gonna give you some tips. You never want to pull your press on nails off. Like if they come off fine, but you don't want to pull them off because you're damaging your cuticles, you're damaging the fold of your nail. Like you, you don't want to do that. It can cause hang nails are very painful, um, damage to your nail, and you you don't want to do that. So I will say that there is a few ways you can do it. You can soak it off with acetone if you're using like Gorilla Glue, but you will have to also file it off. Like I'm gonna show you the whole process of how it works to get it off. And then I'm gonna show you some aftercare cause there's like some maintenance that you have to do. You just can't like dip it in acetone and go. You're gonna have to file it down. You wanna re-moisturize your nail beds cause you don't want them dried and cracked and screaming for moisture, attention, and love, okay? So I'm gonna be showing you all that today. So hit the like button and let's get into this. So I couldn't part with this set just yet. Um, I like the set so much. So I'm just gonna take off the thumbnail just to show you guys the process of how I take them off and then how I do um, recovery on the nail after it's off. So you wanna make sure that you use 100% pure acetone so this can come off because we did attach this with Gorilla Glue. So I'm just pouring it into my nail bowl. And then as I dip my finger into it, all the acrylic paint is just coming off of it into the nail polish remover and the water is getting cloudy. The nail got so soft, it's broken half. I had to replace the acetone just to keep the process going. Eventually the nail dissolved all the way off of um, my natural nail. So now I'm just filing off all the gunk and the excess acrylic that's left on my nail bed. I really scrub hard to get this off. So then I'm just gonna re-dip it in acetone just to get it cleaned off. It's finally cleaned off. Then I'm just gonna shape it up. Then I'm gonna wipe off my nail bed with some more acetone. This process just involves more acetone and more acetone. That's really what you need to just get all that glue and acrylic off the nail bed. So next I'm gonna use this nail strengthening cream that I got from the Mani Covery Kit. And I'm just gonna rub this on the nail to help strengthen my nails and nourish and moisturize them. Next, I'm gonna use some cuticle oil. And cuticle oil is not just for the cuticles, you can also use it on the nail bed. And I'm gonna let it sit on there for about five minutes. And then this is nail hardener and strengthener from Sally Hansen's that I'm just gonna put on to help keep my nails strong and not brittle and cracking, you know, just to keep a healthy nail. And that is it for aftercare. So I was so happy to show you guys my aftercare routine. So I want to know down below in the comments, do you focus on aftercare? If you don't, why not? Or if you're going to start focusing on aftercare after you take off your press on nails, let me know. And I'll see you next video. Bye, besties. Yeah.